hold this door frozen shut. Breaking his foot. All right, well, it's 18 degrees outside, so what better time to unbox and give you my first impressions of one of my Christmas presents. This Mr. Heater, torpedo heater, it runs on propane. It's model number MH35FA. There it is. In the box, you get the heater, of course. Uh, instruction manual. Looks like it's in English, French, and Spanish. And in this here box, you've got all your, looks like just the hose to hook it up to your grill tank. These directions are ridiculous. There's like five pages on how not to kill yourself with this thing and then finally it tells you how to start it in this one paragraph Good lord as far as build quality i mean it feels pretty good it's not the heaviest thing in the world but you know, it probably weighs about 10 pounds or so i mean it's not that big it's only 18 inches long so you know it's not that big of a, a heater to begin with so i don't expect it to have a lot of heft to it but uh the metal it's made out of actually feels pretty good it's uh it's not bendy or anything the inside a little bit but not the outside it doesn't feel cheap that's what i'm getting at it does not feel cheap all right so i'm gonna fire this baby up and see how she works whoever made this blue thing impossible to take off by hand i hate you <coughs> In case any of you have trouble, I uh, noticed some reviews where people were complaining about this. In case you didn't know, this little deal right here that screws into your grill tank screws in backwards. You twist it the opposite way that you normally would. Initially brought out this here meat probe, this meat thermometer. <laughs> meat probe. <laughs> this meat thermometer, and it said low versus 32. Uh, I guess it got too low for it to even read, so that's why I went with this thing. And it was frozen too, so I'll give it a few minutes, see how it uh, how it does. All right, so this. Uh, beef thing here says 41 degrees I just got it sitting right there off of the workbench here but, uh, up here all the junk on the uh, rafters that's uh, 50 bouncing 49.50 all right there you go that's not bad oh uh, doesn't everybody have this much shit in their rafters of their garage I don't have any insulation on this side either it's just drywall uh, that's not too bad the rest of the garage for uh, insulation really sucks as you can see right here not too bad that's really not bad considering there's that gaping hole right above this uh, this area well 41 degrees I think is good enough for me it's good enough to say that this thing works so I'm gonna wrap this up Wow, I just shut this thing off and the outside is cool to the touch, even the inside, the this part right here. All right, this uh, Mr. Heater, I'm gonna say is pretty darn good for the size. It took my garage, which is a 24 by 24, partially insulated, 
with no insulation on the ceiling at all. Uh, I'm gonna guess it was about 25 or so in here, just by feel. And got it up to about 41, 42 degrees in about 20 minutes. So that's not that bad. I mean, that's totally workable if you need to do something in the garage. I mean, I don't need it to feel like summertime in here to get things done. So it suits my needs. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to this particular model on uh, Menard's website if you want to go check it out and look at the specs and everything. My first impressions are good. Awesome. That's it. We'll see you next time.